Hello everyone, welcome back. It's me Sonia from Inner Order and Joy and here is Ram. So in this video, I am going to show you um, the sandpaper lesson, the sandpaper numbers, how you can present this to your child and uh, using three period lesson and there are some extensions. So stay tuned till the end of this video to see uh, what are the extensions of this uh, lesson. So let's get started. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia from Inner Order and Joy, where you can find videos on homeschooling activities, healthy lifestyle tips, and many other useful videos which will help you to empower yourself to be your child's first wonderful teacher. If this is something you are interested in, then please consider subscribing and become a part of this wonderful community. And for more everyday updates, you can follow me on Instagram. The links are updated in the description box below. Please do check it out. Alright, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. So if you have a child who is, no, I know Ram knows all this, just I'm showing you. If you have a child who is three years old, first you have to take three numbers, okay? Then, then you have to isolate the numbers and teach them the, using the first period. Use the Spencer grid. This is one. This is one. Can you trace it, Ram? Say so this is one. This is one. Very nice. Now bring two. This is two. Two. They are touching. They are feeling. They are visually seeing. It's a very sensorial lesson. This is three. Mm -hmm. This is three. They feel like touching. This is three. So now, show me where is one. Show me two. Show me three. Okay. Now what is this? One. What two, is this? Three. What is this? Three. So when you're asking, ask your child to trace. The more they repeat tracing, it will help them to learn to write. If your child is interested to learn more, then you can go on, continue go on with uh, um, four, five, and six, and then continue. Or if your child is not interested, if your child seems not interested, then you can stop and pick this lesson some other day. Okay, now here is an extension of this lesson. So let us, let us, yeah. no, let us do this knock knock, okay? Let us shift them here and there. I want to do it first. Okay, then knock knock. Say knock knock. Here. For shuffle. Okay, shuffle. Okay, now you now you knock knock. Like, like I'll show you first. Knock knock. Which number is there? Knock knock. Let me see. This is two. What is this number? Two. Two. No, knock knock this one. Knock knock. Mm -hmm. Which number is it? One. One. Here. Okay, you can open it and you can put them in the sequential order, okay? Here. Yes. Knock, knock. Knock, Three. This is... I knew it. You knew it? This is three. So you can ask your child in the fun way and you can ask your child to arrange them in a sequential order. You can play with the three or you can add more numbers. I'm just adding numbers. You want to do it more? Okay. I'll give you more numbers. Knock knock. Knock knock. Who's it? Number one. Okay. Three. Three. Knock knock. Who's it? Number two. Mm hmm. Knock knock. Who's it? Number zero. So zero comes first. Okay. Then. Knock knock. Who's it? Seven. Seven, okay, put it over there. You can arrange them later. Knock, Open. knock, who's there? Nine. Nine. Knock, knock, who's there? 
eight. Knock knock, who's there? Five. Five. Knock knock, who's there? Six. Mm -hmm. Knock knock, who's there? Four. Knock knock, who's there? Three. Okay. One. Two. Zero. What comes after two? Three. Mm -hmm. What comes after three? Four. Mm -hmm. Five. Mm -hmm. Six. Mm -hmm. Seven. Mm -hmm. Eight. Mm -hmm. Nine. Nine. Yes. That's it. That's it. That's the sequential Eight order the of ten. the numbers. <laughs> so here comes here comes the second extension of this lesson. You can you can use these paper clips and these numbers and a paper and use these crayons. You have to peel off the cover a bit of it. Wait, what? All of it? Yeah. You have to remove the cover. And now, if you want to. Oh my god! This is called crayon rubbing. Okay? You have to secure the paper so that it doesn't move here and there. You have to secure the paper so that it doesn't move. Now the paper doesn't move. Now you have to use this. Oh, Eight. it's okay. So, okay. In, in, one second, Ram. Listen, listen. So, do not color, do not rub the crayon like this. Okay? Instead of that, you can use on the flat side, like this. It will be visible can I nicely. Do it? Yes, you can do it. So, here comes the second extension of this lesson crayon rubbing. Ah, oh, sure, sure, sure. Do it nicely so that the zero is visible. Yes. Is the zero visible? Yes. And the, you have to see the excitement in the children. They will be surprised. Zero. So now do, do the second more. one. To do this. Mm -hmm. Now let's do two. Yes, I yes. know. Number two. This is two. Yeah, it's visible. It's visible? Almost done. Oh, can you show me? Yes. Three. It's visible. All right, Ram is making a book out of it. Now he's stapling the papers together yes this is a book of sandpaper numbers I want to go like up <laughs> can you open so he made a book out of it yeah. alright guys I hope you found this video helpful if so hit that like button and do consider subscribing so that you get notified whenever I publish my next video Thank you so much for watching. Always stay joyful and stay humble.